Okay, everybody, this is the uh, third in my um, Color Me series that I have. This one is Color Me to Sleep. Um, they're in no particular order. This is the back. I just grabbed them. Um, this one is Lucy McGlow, illustrated by Angela Porter, afterward by Alana McGinn. This one is 100 coloring templates to promote relaxation and restful sleep. Okay, we have some of the images are colored in all the books. Just to give you examples, there's table of contents in all the books for the different chapters. They give you partial examples, how to color. The um, introduction tells you about the book and there's always coloring tips in each book. I love this page. I really love the poppies in the background, how it's nighttime like that. This chapter, Peaceful Environment, they show you, you know, some examples. What's great is you can still color this. You know, you there there is going to be a blank page in the book, but they just give you, you know, a starter, if you will. So you can color them or you can leave it. So just for an example. Um, they are single-sided. All of the backs have a pattern on them like that for each chapter it's different so they're non perforated you can um, protect your work you can use any medium on these you can use your markers you know watercolor anything you want pencils pretty mandala I like this nice and cozy pictures e glue I really think this is so, just such a cute series. <clears throat> and these are definitely beginner to advanced. I mean, anybody would enjoy these books. Advanced, you know, they can take some time and chill out and do these. I love this tree. This is a really pretty one. The mandalas in these books are fairly easy to do. There's that one that was um, already colored in with the poppies. All right, that's the end of the first chapter. There's always a blank page. This one is Cozy Comforts. And here you see the colored in ones. And they always have a, um, the edges always colored in the border. Ooh, I like the um, hot chocolate and cupcake. Nice hot bath, candles. Oh, that's nice. A bathtub, all the full of flour. Sorry if I'm going fast. There's a hundred pages in this book. Really pretty. This is the one we saw earlier. All the different cups of tea, coffee. That's beautiful, the candles. All right, new chapter. Quiet getaways. Oh, that's nice. Little koi pond. It's very whimsical, the whole series. Very, very whimsical is what I like. That's the color inversion one we saw that was earlier. The cabin. There's a toy pond. All right, new chapter. Relaxing routines. Pretty, pretty. Nice color wheel. Bubble bath. Some coffee. Candles. Desserts. Coloring and sketching pages. <laughs> oh, that looks like a scrapbook, this one. Planner. New 
chapter, sleep scenes. Oh, look at the little baby sleeping. This would be really cute cut out and put in a baby's room. You can even do this one because it's already done for you. It's got the border colored all the way around. Really cute. I love this. I love this little bird. Puppy in the bed. Oh, oh a koala bear. Cute little dog. The kitty cat dreaming of fish. A lot of owls in these books. There's the baby picture. Blank. Here's the bird, the little chunky bird. Fantasies and dreams. Oh, look at the flying sheep. Oh, how cute. This would be so great in a baby's room. I'm not real into dream catchers. This is the first one that I saw I had afterward, and it's just about getting um, rest and you know how the coloring is important, you know, to help you relax and all of that. This is the bind. Very heavy duty. Very, very nice quality book. The cover is real nice and hard. Uh, hard quality, real nice. Very inexpensive books too. As big as they are and as many pages, they're very inexpensive. Um, I'll post a link to where you can purchase these at. And if you have any questions or comments or you want to see any more of this series, just let me know in the, in the um, comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.